Hi guys, welcome back to Montana Off-Road. My name is Adam, and today we're filming episode three of Mountain Jeep Mods. We are in the Little Belt Mountains at the family cabin, and today I'm taking into the interior of the Jeep, and we're gonna be painting in the center console in my Jeep Wrangler. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I figured I'd get started by showing you what I'm gonna be needing to get this project done. One, you're gonna need the color match paint of your choice. I'm using the Dupli color, and mine is the Emerald Pearl Green. Second, I recommend to get some form of primer. I'm using the same brand, and the Scratch Filler Primer. And last, to get that shine, you're gonna to wanna to pick up some protective clear coat finish as well. Along with that, we're gonna need a few other things. We're gonna need some 600 grit wet dry sandpaper and some water, as well as a Phillips screwdriver and some microfiber cloths. First thing we're gonna do is remove the top piece in our dash here. So what you have to do to remove that is just go ahead and pop out the top and the sides here. Let's do it on the left here. And that should pull off fairly easily. Once we've got that removed, we've just got two Phillips screws on the top of the dash that we're gonna have to remove. Now that I've got those two screws removed, there's just one more. And it's just gonna be back behind your cigarette holder. If your Jeep did not come stock with one of those, then you do not need to worry about this step. All right, now we should be able to just pull this center console off. And just like that, the center dash is removed. Now I am gonna opt out of painting these here, my vents. So I'm gonna pop those out really quick and then we're gonna get painting. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take a microfiber cloth and some rubbing alcohol and really rub that down and just get all the debris off the console itself. All right, so now for the fun part, get to start painting. We're gonna start with the Scratch Fill Primer. All right, so just got that first coat of primer on. Everything's looking good. So once that cures, we're gonna do some sanding and then keep going from there. That was a nice break in the hammock, but I think our primer's done drying now. So it's time to get some sanding done. All right, we're all sanded down and dried off. Time to get some color match paint on there.
started to rain just a little bit, but I thought I'd protect the Jeep. I did bring my tarp with me, so I went ahead and rigged something up really quick to keep it covered. But I think we're gonna be okay. I don't think it's gonna rain hard, if at all, uh, anymore. So we're gonna finish this project up. I've got the uh, console just hidden in my Jeep right now. So I'll be able to pull that back out and keep on going. All right, so just finished up getting that second coat on that center dash unit. I did go ahead and move it to this trailer just to avoid any extra debris getting on it. So we're gonna let that dry again. And then last step, we're gonna get some clear coat on there. Well, while that last coat of paint dries, I'm just taking a little bit of time to hang out by the creek here. I've got this nice rock, nice spot to soak my feet. Life is good. Gonna give that about a half hour, then come back to it and start with that clear coat. Okay, just got that coat done. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do more than one or not. It's just gonna depend on how it looks. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm really excited to get that back in the Jeep and show you guys what the finished product ends up looking like. Just had an idea while I was waiting. Uh, still got these vent covers here. They're kind of filthy. So I think now would be a good opportunity for me to run down to the creek and get these cleaned off. All right, let's go. Okay, so we've got the clear coat dry and this turned out really great. The only issue I'm having is this uh, paint just seems to be a little more blue than what my paint actually is. I know it's hard to tell on the camera, but uh, nonetheless, it still looks great. I'm still gonna install it. I'm not sure what the deal is there. I did check the color code to make sure I had the right color match paint, but it does seem to be a little bit different of a color. Not a big deal though. I think it'll still look great in the Jeep and I think it turned out really well. So we're gonna go ahead and install this back. Gotta put the vents back in here first, and then we're gonna go from there. Vents right. installed, now it's time to get it back on the dash. All right guys, got everything reinstalled. Looks awesome, really happy with how it turned out. Might not be the exact same color as my Jeep is. I'm not sure how that works since I used the color code, but nonetheless, I think it looks great. All right, guys, going to wrap the video up there. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as I'm bringing out weekly content here. Uh, if you missed my last video, I'm going to leave it right there. So go ahead and click on that. Check that out. Uh, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.